Looks like Daniel got some jewelry. Oh. <laughs> what is that? It's a... Uh, oh, dude, that's really cool. I gotta wake up. Daniel's in town. All right, guys, we're gonna go meet uh, Monterey Magnet Man. Right now I'm driving, so I gotta keep my eye on the road, but I think we're gonna go to a beach here in Laguna and I'll keep you posted once we get there. Hey guys, Jason here and we're, we're this is Banana Beach, right? Uh, I think so, it is. Yeah, it, it's like banana shaped. It is Banana Beach. All right, we got Daniel here. So uh, there's a couple other detectors out here. So um, we'll just get out here and see if we can find something cool. All right, Daniel's first target is a piece of jewelry. Very nice, dude. Yeah, yeah. Jewelry on the board. Yeah, I got a bunch of sea glass. Oh, sea glass. Oh, nice. There you got some rivets. Gotta love the sea glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, and what's this? And this looks like gold, but it isn't. Don't you love it when it looks like gold and it's oh, like, yeah. oh, it's copper. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Well, that was cool. I got to meet those, uh, those other guys. Super nice. Tom and I think it was Aaron. But uh, got a target here chirping up like iron, kind of like a tent stake would. It's got a little bit of an iron bump to it. Sand is uh, really easy to dig in. I don't know, guys. That's I'm like a foot and a half down. Oh, I think I got whatever it is. Uh, no, that's just a big rock. It might be a hot rock, and that's what I'm getting. Yep. Okay, out of that hole, I haven't gotten any any targets yet. I've been just kind of gritting this upper sand area. Everything down there is pretty soft, but uh, yeah, out of that hole, it's just a piece of scrap metal something. I think it's some kind of iron. It was uh, bumping like iron, so there we go. This one sounds like iron again, but it's got a little bit of a low tone to it. That's not something shiny, is it? Oh, what is this? Oh, guys, guys, check that out. I think that could be gold. Oh, I don't know what that would go to. Some kind of jewelry or something, maybe a watch? I don't know, that's got some weight to it and it was ringing like a low tone. Let me double check. I'm gonna swing the detector over it. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and I should double check that hole too. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a 19. That's a low tone. I'm gonna check the, the rest of that hole right there. I think we may have gotten some gold already. So uh, cool, I'm gonna put this in my fine, small finds pouch thingy. My little thingabob, it's not really a pouch. We'll put it in here for now. Hey, let's give Daniel the wave really quick. Yeah, he's not looking. There's Daniel down there. Okay, I'm gonna check this hole. Okay, right here where we, I think that's gonna be gold, but got another target here that just sounds really awful again. I don't know about this one. What I'd like is if it was another part of whatever that was. I'm gonna get down there and check with the pinpointer, see if I'm just missing the target. Okay, it's right in there. So let's keep our eye on that spot, grab the detector, see if we can get whatever that was out of there. Okay, I think we got it. What, what is this? What? <laughs> what is that, like a pog? Oh, whoa. Is that a Mario thing? Oh, it's like a little Mario coin, Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Is that Bowser? Or? It is. <laughs> nice. That is a, it's like a gold coin. It is. Okay, so I think I found some gold. Check this out, bringing up a 19. You check it. Mm -hmm. Very well, good thing. Uh, like a watch clasp or something? Yeah, I think that is, it's from a watch band, yeah. 
So we'll scratch test it back yeah, home. Unless it's stainless, stainless. Yeah, that's true. Plated, but. Daniel's got something right there from uh, the area where I was gritting, so who knows? Maybe the XP Deus is a mythical beast, like they say. I wanted to show you this house right here. Check out this plaque. It's got like a seal on it, and it's all beautifully done stone and really pretty trees. So I thought that was kind of cool. What's up, dude? He's checking us out. Yeah, he's curious. Curious like a cat. Okay, we got a nice solid tone right there, 71. So probably a penny, but I'm not exactly sure how the targets are ringing up here. At least coins, this would be my first coin if it is a penny. Okay, we got it. Got me a scoop. All right, first coin of the day is a, uh, looks like a copper penny. Man, that's, that's worn thin. Cool. We'll take it. What is that? That's kind of a cool looking rock. It's got like a purpley blue and some tan. I'm gonna tumble that, should look pretty nice. Okay, we're on our way out, but uh, we're gonna head to another beach. Got a target down here though. Jumping pretty high. I think that's gonna be a quarter. Houses around here are just gorgeous. All right, yeah, we got a quarter, so we're a penny and a quarter into the cycle. Oh, it's a new one, actually. George is going that way. All right, we're gonna rinse our detectors off, but check that out, I'm gonna leave it here. It's like a, what is that, a Brachiosaurus, or? Forget what those are called. Okay, guys, so apparently this is the building that used to be the very first Taco Bell. Oh yeah, okay. In 1962, a former, well, you, you guys can pause the video and read it. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, we are just south of Laguna Main Beach. So we're gonna make our way north towards that beach and uh, see if we can find some more stuff. We've got a dog friend right here. We just threw the ball to him. He wants to play catch. All right. Right here is 61. I would normally say a zinc penny, but let's hope for something, something else. Nice steady 61. I just saw it. It's in the scoop. Oh yeah, zinc penny. I thought maybe because it was uh, really steady on that 61, I thought maybe it would be something else, but that's okay. First target in is a coin. And we are just heading, heading north. Daniel's up there by that resort. So uh, see you at the next target. Out of that hole right there, it just sounded like iron uh, with a little chirp, but I know you guys are gonna tell me I should be wearing shoes, but we found an old rusty razor blade. So, uh, you know, I never dig in the, in the hole with my hands, um, and I'm usually pretty careful with my feet, but that's kind of unnerving to find this at the beach. So we'll get it out of here. Okay, right down in this area right here. 64 something. There's a lot of tar balls at this beach. Uh, this stuff right here. And it gets stuck on our feet and our gear. 
Let's see if we can find it in the sidewall before getting crashed with a wave. Okay, right down there. Okay. Oh, all right, 80, 83. Sounds like it's probably gonna be a dime or a piece of jewelry, some silver, if I can find it. Okay, it's in the scoop, we'll give it a little rinse. Okay, yeah, we got a coin there. And that is a dime, sweet. So now we just need a nickel for the cycle. Here's another look at one of those tar balls. It's all gooey, sticky. Okay guys, out of that super deep hole right there, I actually had gotten it out on the third scoop, but right up here, 48, 49. Oh, there it is, we just kicked it out, cool. We got another coin, and that is a crusty zinc penny. So we'll take that and bag it. Give you a scenic shot. We're uh, making our way up here towards the main beach. Daniel's uh, probably about 100 yards away up there. So see you at the next target. 61, probably another coin. I guess it'd be a penny, but try and stay hopeful. Okay, we got it out. 65, 68. What is that? Look at this. What in the world? Cool. Oh. So I think that this probably goes to like a fishing, uh, fishing reel, I think is what somebody else had told me at one point, but that's kind of cool. It's like a cog. Probably made it brass or something. Right on. Uh, check this out, guys. Right down there. A little fishy. Here, we'll, we'll bury him. There you go, little buddy. Okay, he's, he's good now. He's just sleeping. Right down here, sun's starting to come out. 19, right there. 1819. Oh, I know what that is. It's a little smiley face part of a tin can. Super happy. Okay, out of this deep hole right here. We just moved up here to the dry sand on our way back to where the car's parked. Oh, I think I see it peeking out right there. Is that it? Yeah, okay, we got another dime. Fresh drop. Well, I don't know, it was down there pretty far, but we'll take that. And uh, we're just making our way back through the dry. Check that out, right on the surface. Hey, that's perfect for the beach we hit earlier, Banana Beach. It's a little minion. Banana. Banana, banana. Anyways, there it is. Kind of a choppy 30. Okay, it's out. 31, usually a pull tab. Got it in the scoop. Looks like Daniel got some jewelry. Oh. <laughs> what is that? It's a... Uh, um... Oh, dude, that's really cool. <laughs> that is quite the find right there. Yeah, a little... It's got a little sombrero shell, or something on shell. it. Yeah. Was it hitting on the little glasses there? Yeah. Cool. I thought it was just a shell because it was like that. It's a turtley turtle. Yeah. Turtle. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Dang, I hope <laughs> that doesn't break in my bag. Maybe a front pouch or something. Sweet. Or pocket. Uh, maybe a pocket. Oh yeah, here we go. It was a 31. Zipple tab. The other dry sand special. Yeah, that's like the find of the day. That's pretty cool. They set up like a little uh, chipping green or something, playing golf on the beach. It's pretty cool. 
desperately looking for the nickel. So uh, for the for the cycle. So we'll keep going. Got a pretty steady 20 right there. Okay, it's out. In the scoop. What is that? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I thought it was like an old pummeled coin, but it's uh, just a piece of copper or brass right there. Forty-five something, like a. Not sure what that could be. Doesn't sound like Canslaw. Oh, wait, wait, wait! What is that? What is that? Yes. I'm signaling to Daniel. We got a little tiny ring, guys. Hey, a ring is a ring is a ring. Uh, I'm gonna guess that that's probably gonna be silver that's plated gold, but who knows? We'll check it out in the wrap-up to see if there's any markings on it. There's some stones on there. Right on. There hasn't been much at this beach, but to find a ring. Got a little ring. Hey. Ring up a 40-something, so I'm guessing um, maybe gold-plated silver. That's, that's a neat one. Rings yeah, a rings yeah. a ring. Boop. Boop. Right on. We'll Sweet. put that. <laughs> I walked right over that when we got here. Yeah. Unless someone just dropped it. Yeah. No, it was like two scoops. We'll put that in here. Cool. On the board. Yeah. Still need that nickel though. Yeah. I have a carry pot. He doesn't like that one too. All right, guys, we're at a different beach now. Uh, this is the beach I used to call Blobberite Beach, but I uh, haven't been here in a while, so we'll check it out. Ready, Dan? Oh, yeah. Scoops <laughs> ready. Okay, right down here, guys, first target at this different beach. That looks like it's going to be a quarter. Still looking for the nickel. Daniel and I both agree that we don't even want gold at this point. We just want the nickel. So, we'll see if we can find one. Okay, I think it's in the scoop. Pretty big waves out there. Uh-oh. Must have lost it. Oh, it's still in the hole. Okay, now it's out. Where are you, coin? I don't see a coin. Guys, <laughs> third time's a charm. Okay, now it's in the scoop, I promise. Yeah, there it is. Sweet. Good start. Okay, out of that hole right there. 49.50. Usually a zinc. Okay, got it in the scoop. I switched scoops um, using the stainless steel pro scoop. Takes a little longer to sift, but there we go. It's a little piece of scrap metal. Okay, out of this hole right here, got it kicked over. I'm not sure what that is. Some kind of adjustable strap thing or something. Kind of looks like little shark teeth or something. We'll call that shark teeth right there. 77, 76. I'm assuming that's a dime. 78, 79. Oh, I forgot to tell you what that little shark teeth uh, clasp ring it up, ring up. It was uh, ringing up a three. 
So it was pretty low. It's probably stainless steel. Okay, so this is not a dime, that is a penny. So we'll take that, 1980. Sixty-nine on the line. Seventy-two. Some of these waves are crashing pretty hard. Seventy. I'm not going to guess them anymore because I, I feel like I kind of manifest the coins and all I really want is a nickel. So, all right, what's that? That was a ringing up low dime. Wow, that's really worn super thin. It's like paper thin, guys. See that? Okay, we'll take it. 76, probably another dime. Found a little coin line here. So, uh, sounds like Daniel already hit the cycle. Right in here. Okay, we got it in the scoop. Okay, I don't think that's a nickel, guys. That's a copper penny. Bring up about the same as a nickel. We'll take that. Here he goes. Oh, that's cool. Definitely got a coin line here. I'm assuming that's a coin. It could be something else. Bringing up like a copper penny or a dime. Okay, it's in the scoop. It's cool watching these guys do their, uh, their, I'm not sure what that's called. Oh, skimboarding. Oh, that was cool. Okay, what do we got? Oh yeah, that's a penny. That's an old copper penny. Cool, there we go. Check that out, guys. Right on the surface, that's an old worn out dime. Right on the surface. Cool, and I think there's another target down here, but I'll film if there is one. Yeah, so we just found that surface dime here and there is a target here. Sounds like it's gonna be another penny. Okay, let's see if we can rinse it. All right, I better step back because these waves are kind of tumbling. Cool, so it looks like we got another dime right there. Cool. Still looking for the nickel. 70, 73. See if we can get some water. Rinse it out. Okay. 73, and that is a another really worn out dime. A lot of dimes right here. Can barely see uh, the face on there. Okay, a lot of that hole right there, it's another dime. Tons of dimes, guys. Tons of dimes, and they're right by the surface. They're right on the surface, and they've been in there for a long time. So that's that's a good sign. Ouch. That was my scoop hitting my leg. Okay, let's bag this. Uh, 1947. Daniel just got a oh, weedy. Little wheat scent. Nice. One cent. You've been eating your Wheaties? I have been eating my Wheaties. Nice. I'm gonna eat this one too. Okay, with milk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a lot of coins here. And what's weird is like the sand feels fluffy, but they're still like right on the surface. Yeah, because there's just such a like a turnaround, like, right? Yeah, like. Break, just picks them up. Yeah, just chops it up. 
because like this, like I mentioned, I found my first silver quarter, and that same day I found another silver quarter and some silver dimes, and they were all like one speed. Yeah. It's all at the top. Yeah, it's been really easy recovery, so. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, me too. That's a big plus. I love how chill the birds are here. They just kind of hang out and check us out. It's cool. Yeah, right down here, we got it out of the hole that was right back there, ringing up a four. And that's a, an earpiece from a pair of sunglasses or something. Okay. Those always ring up really low. Really enjoying watching these guys do their skim surfing or skimboarding. Anyways, down here, 85, 87. Uh, I'm going to say that's a quarter. Came back up here to the drier part of the sand. This is kind of still like a divot in the dry sand where the water has accumulated during the high tide. Um, but I'm, I'm just desperately looking for that nickel. Um, but that is a quarter. And it's been in here for long enough. It's kind of got a greenish tint to it. Oh yeah, it's all worn down. George's head is all battered. <laughs> okay. Okay, out of that hole right there. Oh, wow. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we, we got it rinsed. Uh, it looks like it's another penny. So I'm finding lots of dimes and lots of pennies and a couple of quarters. I'm still going to search for that nickel though. I'm not leaving without the nickel. Right down here, we've got a 24. Yeah, it just sounds like iron now. Sounds better now, still 24. Okay, it's in the scoop. Might have to wait for a wave to come in. No, I think we got it. Let's see. What is it? Oh, yes! Yes, we finally got the nickel. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. Uh, Daniel, was, Daniel got three of them, or four of them so far. Okay, we've officially hit the cycle. I am, I am satisfied, we can leave. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can pull some more uh, coins and maybe find some more jewelry. All right guys, Luna's having a good time over there. Let's go ahead and do our wrap up from uh, our hunt there with Daniel. Uh, we went to three different beaches and all three of those beaches were in Laguna. And gosh, I love Laguna. It's just one of my favorite places to go. Uh, I love the beaches there and the houses are gorgeous. But enough of that. Anyways, let's jump right in. Uh, we got three quarters there and we got 11 dimes. This one here looks paper thin. It was just worn super thin from being in the sand for so long. And 11 and a half pennies there. That one there is just barely recognizable. It's super corroded. Uh, and then, we, have, of course, we got this one nickel. And I'm telling you guys, that nickel was worth its weight in gold. Uh, when I found it, I was just super excited to hit the cycle. It had been all day long I had been looking for that nickel. So that was neat. Uh, and then, let's see, our usual garbage targets, rusty nails and such... Speaking of rust, we found a rusty uh, razor blade there, and I am glad that I did not step on that because I like to be barefoot. And we got this Babadoo guy, uh, the minion. He doesn't look too happy. That's okay. And then we got this, uh, this cog. I believe that is from a fishing reel. I'm, I'm pretty sure. You guys let me know down in the comments. I might be wrong. But I thought that was an interesting find to pull that there. Uh, and then we got this token. This is from our first beach at uh, Banana Beach. And that is a Bowser token from Mario. And it's all rusty now, but I, I thought that was kind of a cool target to find. Uh, Daniel and I went out to burritos afterwards, and I, I was joking saying I was going to pay for the burritos with that Bowser coin. <laughs> Uh, and then in terms of jewelry, we didn't find much. Uh, at that first beach, we got these triple X links. And I was certain that was going to be gold, just the way that it's got kind of dents and dings in it. 
um, and I, it didn't have any corrosion on it when I pulled it, but since then it has turned greenish, and I think that's because it is brass. Uh, but still, it's a cool find, and I was glad to find it. Um, it was exciting. And then, of course, we got this ring, and that was at the second beach we went to, the Laguna Main Beach. And you can see it's got gems in there, little stones, and it, it kind of looks like a little star or something. And it's really pretty, um, but unfortunately, that is not going to be any kind of precious metal. Uh, it's just some costume jewelry, but yeah, that was really neat finding it, so I was pleased. Uh, I had a lot of fun with Daniel. I hope that you guys enjoyed the hunt. Um, and if you did, be sure and hit the like button. It helps the channel to grow. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. But until next time, happy hunting.